Hi, Greg Dorsey here. It's Monday, August 8th at leave.com, L-E-E-B.com. Be sure to sign up for our free newsletter if you haven't done so already. Uh, well, where do I begin? Uh, I hope you own gold. Uh, the yellow metal was one of the few items painting the tape green today. Uh, stock shed another 6% following Standard & Poor's ratings downgrade of U.S. Treasury debt. Uh, it's at once uh, laughable and sad that uh, the, the company, which was a primary driver of the credit bubble uh, that led to the financial crisis uh, and the worst economic conditions since the Great Depression, uh, still has the ability to move markets by making a pronouncement that isn't the least bit insightful or surprising for that matter. Uh, the downgrade will result in greater borrowing costs for everyone, uh, as seen in the dreadful performance of financials in particular today. Uh, today's trading uh, did have the feel, however, of a climatic sell-off. Uh, volume on the big board was two and a half times uh, the average volume of the last 200 days. Uh, and down volume swamped uh, upside volume by uh, better than 80 to 1 margin. People were selling for no other reason than to get out of stocks, uh, with no regard to uh, underlying fundamentals. Uh, the stock market now is extremely oversold. Uh, the S&P 500, for instance, is down more than 17% to the last month and is now nearly 12% below its 200-day moving average. Uh, the VIX, the S&P Volatility Index, has spiked above 46 which, while is not the highest level ever, uh, is certainly at a level that uh, is typically associated with market bottoms. Uh, now, when the turn will come, that's another story. Uh, but it could come as soon as tomorrow, uh, when the Federal Reserve's Open Market Committee uh, gets together for its regularly scheduled policy setting meeting. Uh, they've already laid the groundwork for, uh, uh, in, in past policy statements, uh, for more quantitative easing uh, saying that it would be forthcoming if needed. Uh, and the bond market is certainly signaling that the time to act is now. Uh, as we saw in the uh, first quantitative easing in March 2009, and uh, with QE2 last summer, uh, a Fed announcement of plans to start up uh, the proverbial printing presses uh, will get the stocks moving again and, and, uh, towards a, a nice recovery. Uh, one thing I can say without a doubt is uh, it sure won't be a quiet week. Uh, so be sure to check back with us. We'll have uh, lots more for you. Thanks and have a good night.